Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't already know, here I review and recommend lots of amazing books. And in today's video, I'm back with a book that matches that exact description. And the book is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. I love the cover of this book. I think it is very, very nice and I think you all would agree. And let me just show you a little bit more closely. Also, after reading this book, I think I may read more books by this author because I found this book very interesting and entertaining to read. Now, you all must be wondering why this book is called The Girl Who Drank the Moon. And the reason is, in this book, that the title literally means what it is. There is a girl in this book who drank the moon. I know it's very weird, but when you read the book, you'll find out all about it. So this book is about a town called Protectorate who sacrifices a baby every year to a witch who lives in the forest. They think this keeps the witch at bay, but the witch, named Zan, is actually a kind and caring one, and she rescues the baby and transports them to one of the loving cities on the other side of the woods. On her journey, she feeds these babies with starlight, but one day she accidentally feeds the baby with moonlight, and the baby becomes enmagicked. So Zan decides to raise the baby herself and names her Luna. So as Luna grows, her magic begins to um, emerge, and if she doesn't learn how to control it soon, it could have very dangerous consequences. This book was literally mind blowing, and uh, I actually bought it because of its very strange title. I fell in love with its story after I read it. Also, I bought this book with Amazon and I found it and I received it in very, very good condition. Uh, if you're thinking why I bought the paperback of this book this time and not the Kindle edition, well, I actually got it because I recently been purchasing my books on Kindle and I thought for a change that I should probably purchase a paperback because I love paperbacks. And this book is actually full of magic and it's impossible to put down. It is so compelling and it is a perfect read for those who are magic lovers. So overall, if I were to uh, rate this book out of five stars, say, so I would pr probably rate it five out of five stars because there was nothing in this book that I didn't like. I loved everything about it. So I hope you enjoy this book. Try and read it and tell me in the comment section down below if you liked it or not. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, bye bye.